is your name, please? My name is Bob McGrath. My name is Bob McGrath. My name is Bob McGrath. Follow along again, panel, if you will, with this next story inside that next envelope. I, Bob McGrath, was a member of the cast of the television program Sing Along with Mitch. After returning with Maestro Miller from a successful group tour of Japan, I decided to go back to the land of the rising sun as a solo performer. I have since become one of J Japan's leading vocalists. The Japanese people seem to like my Irish tenor voice and are particularly partial to sad songs like Danny Boy and the music of Stephen Foster. I have recorded two albums, made several commercials, and sing five nights a week on Japanese television. I have appeared at several of the top Tokyo nightclubs, including the Copacabana and the Latin Quarter. My Japanese fans call me Babu Maguras, signed Bob McGrath. <laughs> These three gentlemen all claim to be Bob McGrath. We'll start this cross-examination with Orson Bean. Orson? Thank you. Uh, Mr. McGrath, number two, what is the Ginza? The Ginza, that's the, the main street in Tokyo, or a, a series of main streets. Yeah, there's a little place I could tell you stories. I don't want to go into the detail. Orson, Orson. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Number three, uh, do you ever sing Danny Boy in Japanese? Uh, yes. Did you learn the songs phonetically, or can you speak Japanese? I'm not going to ask you to, but can you? Phonetically. Yeah. Well, arigato. Number one, uh, after a hard day's work uh, taping a show, or, uh, do you ever go to one of those steam baths where the ladies give you a rub down? I'd like to, this isn't, this is off the record. Just tell me. You can tell me. <laughs> I haven't, but I'd like to. Yeah, great. Uh, Joan Fontaine. Thank you, but number one, uh, what does the Imperial Hotel face in Tokyo? Number one? I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, I don't know. I've never stayed there. And you don't know it. Number three, what is the big theater where they have the Japanese chorus girls and the big spectacles, the biggest one? The uh, Takarazza, I believe. Uh, number two, what is Kami Meguro? Kami Meguro? Yes. I'm afraid I don't know. Uh, number two again. Tom Poston. Oh, this isn't that terrible. I wish I knew what Kami Meguro was. <laughs> uh, number three, do you happen to know the origin of the song Danny Boy? Uh, I believe it was London Air. That sounds like a naughty word in French. Number two, there was a great <laughs> friend of mine. <laughs> no, no, the, no. The great pal of mine was on that show, on Mitch Miller's show. He's a large Swedish fellow, and his name is Stanley. Do you know what uh, range his voice is? Stanley? Yeah. No, I don't. Well, he's some good actor, all right. Number one, you know, Frank Lloyd Wright... Uh, Joseph, sorry, uh, Tom. Who, Peggy Cash. I'd Thank like you. to ask number one a question. <laughs> you, it's not your time. Number three, who's Jimmy Starbuck? He was the uh, choreographer, I believe, on the show. Thank you. Number one, in the Irish song, A Pretty Girl Milking Her, what does she milk? A pretty girl milking. I don't know that song. Oh, well, it's not that well known. Now, <laughs> <laughs> number two. What did you ask him for then? Well, I thought he might know it. Gee, I'm just you... trying to think of how many things you number can milk. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cow. Well, what, what else would think? it be? A goat? A <laughs> spider? <laughs> all right, you wasted all of Peggy's time, so it's time to vote. So mark your ballot, if you will, please. Mark them at once, without change, without any consultation. Just vote now for number one, number two, or number three. Ballots all marked. Tom, for whom did you vote? Well, I, I voted unhesitatingly for number three because uh, he seems to have the quality of an Irish tenor voice, and he's just that kind of good-looking, fresh boy that Mitch would love to have on his show. Besides, I didn't get to ask one any questions again. Peggy Cash. I didn't get to ask any questions, but I voted for three because he looks very Irish to me, and I'm Irish, and it takes one to know one. Orson B. I was going to vote for two because to me he looks like all the guys on the Mitch Miller show, but I, I voted for three because of the thing about the, uh, about the Jimmy Starbuck or whatever. I don't know if that sounds right, but to come no, up with... Oh, that's right. Jimmy was the yeah, choreographer Jimmy was. on the show. I don't care. Wonderful. <laughs> 
Joan Fontaine. No. I felt that number one should have known that the Imperial Hotel faces the palace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm afraid I voted for number three, and here we go again. How about that? Unanimous all the way down the line. Didn't work too well last time, did it? However, let's find out how it works this time in learning which of these three gentlemen, in truth, is Bob McGrath. Will the real Bob McGrath please stand up? Thank you. Now, Bob, no Irish tenor can ever appear on television without singing Danny Boy. So how about giving us a Japanese first? Japanese? Japanese. All right. Going to do it in Japanese. Kazuro Fujita no Buki Yanai, Masao Kojima, Tatsu Nozaki, Hiroshi Izumi, and Tanaka-san. Shake hands with all of your neighbors, then kiss the callings all. You're welcome as the flowers in May in dear old Tokyo. Bob, in one fell swoop, you explain the answer to the question of why you stayed and why they're keeping you there. <laughs> it's a lovely Thank voice, you. and you're doing great things with it. Continued success to it. Thank you very much, bud. Number one, what is your real name, and what do you really think? Uh, do. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Frederick Trask. I teach mathematics at the Greenwich Country Day School in Greenwich, Connecticut. And number two, what is your real name, and what do you do, sir? My name is Tom Turney. I'm a dining car steward for the Seaboard Airline Railroad. Checking the score, we find that this unanimity bit that the panel seems to be on tonight so far worked well for them this time. No incorrect votes, but in that case, there still is $150 coming your way, and I do hope you enjoyed your visit to us. We certainly enjoyed having you here. Goodbye, and God bless you.